Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you another homemade hiker's meal recipe. This time I'm starting the first in a series of soups and stews. So today we're going to be making chicken tortilla soup. Please click like and subscribe to join my hiking family. So being a chicken soup, of course, we're going to start with chicken. And for that, we're going to go back to the Mountain House freeze-dried diced chicken. And as usual, we are doing 20 grams of that. Twenty grams of chicken, and of course, back to our cut down food saver bag. Next, I put in Mother Earth Products dried onion flakes, and we're going to do one teaspoon of that. Next comes another ingredient that you should recall. It's the Mother Earth Products Dried Sliced Garlic. And we don't weigh or measure these, I just count out six pieces. You can do more, you can do less, depending on what your taste is. But this uh, hydrates well and gets a nice crunch to it and adds a lot of good garlicky flavor. Next I get to introduce you to another new ingredient another Mother Earth Products ingredient. It is dried tomato powder. If you saw the episode where Ahab and I were trying out my trail tacos recipe uh, on the Appalachian Trail, uh, you'll remember me talking about how I got a clump of tomato. That's this product. So what you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to make sure you scattered around in that bag well so that you can prevent it clumping together. If it's, if it's more evenly distributed throughout, it shouldn't clump. And we're also going to do one teaspoon of that. And again, you want to sprinkle it around pretty well to make sure that you don't really get any clumps. If you do, it's no big deal. But to prevent that, you're just going to want to make sure you stir it up really well anyway. And of course, a chicken tortilla soup always has black beans in it. And for that, I went back to Mother Earth Products and I'm using their dried black beans. The instructions on how to cook these say that you need to simmer them for about 20 minutes. So I was a bit hesitant and a bit concerned about whether or not they would work in my, in my meals. But the very first time I tried it, they came out perfectly pouring a little bit of near boiling water in and letting them sit for between 10 and 15 minutes and they came out perfect. So there's nothing to worry about here. I'm quite excited to get into more of their beans. And we're going to do 7 grams of those. Now Chicken tortilla soup often calls for corn as well, but trying to be as keto as possible. I decided not to go with corn. Uh, you can easily do it. Mother Earth Products does have a freeze-dried corn, so you could add that if you want to. But I choose to go without it, and you don't really miss it. And of course, can it be tortilla soup if there's no tortilla? So, for that, being as I try to go as keto as possible and everything, I was having difficulty in finding just the right tortillas to use. I tried fresh tortillas, but they tend to get a little bit soggy. So you want to use something dried or baked or whatnot. And I was really excited when I found this product because not only is it a very keto friendly chip, but it also has a chili lime flavor to it. So it adds to the flavor that we're already going for in the chicken tortilla soup. And this product is the Quest Protein Chips. 
Now, the biggest thing I was excited about with this was the fact that one entire bag of this only has three net carbs. And I use a quarter of a bag per recipe. So you've got less than one net carb with the tortilla chips. And I'm going to go with 8 grams of that because one serving is 32 grams in this. So I get four soup recipes out of one bag of chips. And you don't have to crush them up. You can break them up if you want to. But the vacuum sealing process is not kind to them. So they break up all on their own. But you can absolutely break them up into smaller pieces if you want to. Now we start trying to build the flavor with spices. And for starters, of course, we're going to use some garlic powder. And half a teaspoon. This just makes sure it gets evenly distributed throughout. Could easily do more if you wanted to. But with the garlic pieces in there, half a teaspoon adds just pretty much the right amount of garlicky flavor. Then to build the soup base, we need chicken broth. So we're going back to the Herbox sodium-free chicken bouillon. Now this does have some MSG in it, so if MSG is a concern for you, then you may want to consider looking for something else or something with more sodium. But I like to reduce the sodium content in mine. So we're going to add one packet of this right into the bag. There we go. Shake it around a little bit. Try to make sure everything gets evenly distributed. And then of course there's lime in chicken tortilla soup. So we're going back to the true lime powdered lime. And we're going to do one teaspoon of the lime. If I can get in there. Must be a desiccant pouch in there. Yeah, there's the desiccant pouch getting in the way. There we go. Next, you want to bring some heat to it. Or at least I do. Whether or not you bring the heat to it is entirely up to you. The tortilla chips do carry a little bit of spice to them. Some people might consider them spicy, but I just enjoy the little bit of tingle they bring. So for that, I like to add quite a bit more heat in my own. And I add red pepper flakes. And I'm doing half a teaspoon. Because I don't know actually who's going to eat this. If it was just for me, I'd probably do at least a full teaspoon. But being as I share these with others, you don't want to overpower them, do you? All right, so then, as usual, back to the handy dandy Food Saver Vacuum Sealer. Operate and vacuum and seal. And you can see it's already breaking up those chips so you don't have to worry about it. The red light tells you that it is doing the heat seal to make sure that it's scent free and that it's safe from water. And I always put a double seal on it just in the case there's something in the plastic or some other way that the original seal didn't make a good seal. This is one of the few recipes that right out of the box, the first time I did it, I thought it was perfect. So, there you go. One pouch of Ace's Chicken Tortilla Soup, ready to go out on the trail. There you have it. Another great, gourmet, foodie-friendly, and even keto-friendly homemade hiker's meal, ready to go out on the trail. So you can make other hikers jealous at the shelters. Have you tried any of my other recipes? Let me know what you thought. 
Let me know if you made any changes and what you thought about the changes. If you have any other questions or comments, leave a comment below or send me an email at trellnamace at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Be sure to visit trailnamace.com to find links to products I've reviewed. Thanks for watching and keep hiking!